What is going on guys? Today I am bringing you another tutorial and today's tutorial is on how to install the Explosives Plus mod for Minecraft 1.3.2. Okay, so before I get into the installation tutorial and the downloads, you're going to want to force update your Minecraft. The reason I'm telling you to force update your Minecraft is because if you're like me and you've ever had or have mods currently installed, you don't know if Explosives Plus is compatible with the mods you have installed. This is not um, required, but is highly recommended. So you're going to go to Options, Force Update, Done, Login. You should already know how. If you ever have any issues to, try that. That is always a way to fix your Minecraft if it ever gets messed up. Okay, so once it is done Force Updating, you can exit out. There's going to be two things you're going to need to download today. Obviously the mod itself, and the form will be, the, the links will be in the description, you can't miss them. And uh, Minecraft Forge Universal, right here. So, first thing you're going to want to download, like I said, is Explosives Plus. This is for 1.3.2. Now be aware, this does not have everything, and this could be updated constantly. I don't know, I'm just showing you the second pre-release for 1.3.2 for now. So you're gonna to want to download it. Just take you to an ad flow link. While this is while this is waiting, go over to the Forge link in the description and download this while you're waiting. So you're gonna to want to go to Universal and download Direct, just like that. You can exit out of that. So I've downloaded uh, Universal Forge. Now I go back to AdFly. The ad's done, so you can now skip it. And then that downloads. You may want to go back to the form. That's your decision. And then you should have both downloaded. So you're gonna to want to go to your downloads, like that. And you're going to want to throw those right on to your desktop. Once you have that done, <coughs> we can get into installing them. So you should have your Minecraft Force updated. So you should have no issues. But here we go. So you're going to want to get to your library folder. And, a way to, and the way I'm going to show you to do that is to just click anywhere on your desktop. And then click Go. And then click Go to Folder. And type that in. That's squiggly backslash library. And that should take you to your library folder. Then you're going to want to go into application support. Then you're going to want to go into Minecraft. And then into your bin. And stop. You're going to want to find your Minecraft.jar, right click, open with the unarchiver. If you don't have the option, the unarchiver, you can download that for free from the Mac App Store. Or use the link in the description, which will redirect you to a link to download that. So bottom line is, download that. It's free, and there's no problems with it. So you're going to click the unarchiver, and then you're going to extract it to your desktop, like this. So it should say, you should find your desktop, and then extract. Alright, once you have it extracted to your desktop, you're going to want to find that Minecraft folder that you extracted to your desktop, or wherever. You just want to find it. Once you find it, you can now delete your Minecraft.jar. So just drop that into the garbage can. But don't empty the garbage can, because if you do mess up, you can always just go back in the garbage can and put that back, and it should fix the whole thing. Okay, so once you have that in the garbage can, you can go into your Minecraft folder. Well, go into your Minecraft folder. And locate the file named META-INF. Uh, that's in all caps, META-INF. And you're going to want to get that and throw that away. You definitely don't want to have that. That's not optional. Um, so once you have that in the garbage can, it's time to actually install the mod. Now hold on. What you're going to want to do before we... Okay, so first you're going to want to install Minecraft Forge Universal. Now this is confusing. So listen really, really carefully. And you may want to pause the video sometimes to follow along. So go back into the Minecraft folder we were just in and locate a file called Paul's Code. Okay? And open that up. Go into Minecraft Forge Universal and locate Paul's code. Open that up, the folder. So you should have both of them should be open. Now keep going, keep going until you get here for the Minecraft Forge. Then go back into your Minecraft folder where you open Paul's code, go into sounds, go into codex, and stop. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to copy this. So click this and copy it. And then paste it in here. So once you have that done, you can go back here and delete Paul's code. You have to delete Paul's code. Don't empty the trash, but delete Paul's code. The second thing you're going to want to do, you can go back in here as well, so you get back to your class files. When you're in Minecraft Forge Universal, find an Arrange button, and arrange it by kind, okay, 
or you can right click, find a range or something. Just make sure you have them like this. You don't have to have them like this, but bottom line is it makes it a lot easier to find the files we have to delete. You have to do this as well. You have to delete the following files. And an easy way to delete them is to find the command button on your keyboard to the left or right of your spacebar. Hold command and click every file that ends with .txt or .txt. Boom. 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 And, okay, and boom. There you go. So once you have all the .txt files highlighted like that, drop those in the garbage. You have to get rid of the files I just said. You have to do what I did with Paul's code, then delete Paul's code. You cannot keep it in there. And then delete all those text files. And then you can arrange it back to what you normally had it at, which for me it was none. But that's your call. You don't have to do that. And then you're going to want to highlight all these by pressing Command A. Then copy them all by right-clicking, copy 151 items, or Command C. Then go in here and paste them by pressing Command V. Check, apply to all, and hit replace. Once you have that done, you're done with this. You can get out of here. But stop. The Minecraft folder that you created two minutes ago, you're going to want to right click on it and click Get Info. And you're going to want to find a tab named Name and Extension and extend that. And add the extension .jar. So pretty much you're just renaming it Minecraft.jar instead of just Minecraft. Hit Enter and press Add. Once you have that done, you can exit out of Minecraft Forge Universal, my bad. You can exit out of that and go back in your Minecraft folder. Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to right click in your, so you want to be in the area where there's been, lost login, options, etc. Right click and make a new folder. Name that folder M-O-D-S, mods. It has to look like that. No capitals, no spaces, all lowercase, M-O-D-S. Okay, you have to name it that. Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get the Explosives Plus mod that you've downloaded and copy that. And then you're going to want to paste it in that mods folder that you just created. And you're done. You should now have Explosives Plus installed on your Minecraft. So here we go. Let's go check that out. So you're going to want to go into Minecraft, log on in. And you might want to have too many items for this. You can use Creative, but it doesn't always have all the tools and stuff that you're going to need. So just be aware of that. So as you can see, three mods loaded. You can always check Explosives and the Forge mod loader and Minecraft Forge. Single player, create new world. Let's go Creative. Let's do a Flatland. And that works. Done. Create world. Okay, so I'll just give you a quick... Oh, awesome. It worked. Okay, so that's how you know it worked. And I'm going to give you a brief preview kind of, of what the mod does. Hold on, let me put it in full screen for you guys really fast here. I'm not going to get into a lot of detail, but I will do my best to show you some stuff. So let's get into this. Okay, so I'm going to go in here. Let's see what I can find. Building blocks. Okay, okay. Liking that stuff. Uh, but we do need something to light it. And flint and steel doesn't work. Okay, let's just use this stuff for now. So, I'm just, once again, I'm not really getting into this. I'm just showing you some cool stuff you can do with this mod. So, you got these two guns. Wait, which one is which? Repulsion beam. Hmm, okay, let's see what this does. I don't know. I know as much as you guys. Because this is only my second time trying out the mod, and I really didn't try it. So, here we go. Oh, okay. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that made a mess. Oh, my. That made a real mess. I'm not going to go down there because I'll lag, but that made a mess. Let's try this gun. Oh, what did that just do? Okay, I don't know what I just did. Oh, that is sick. So you can just blow stuff up. Um, okay, so it looks like my Minecraft is freezing because I'm running the recording program on Minecraft at the same time. Yeah, so it crashed. But please just ignore that. You saw that the mod was installed, um, which it was. And I hope you guys like the video. There's a lot you can do with that mod. There's nukes, there's biome busters, there's a ton of cool stuff. Check it out. Install that mod. If it doesn't work, check the FAQ and troubleshooting in the description. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks a lot. Like the video if it did work. Peace out, guys. Hey, guys. If you're still here, maybe you care to check out my previous video, which was a paintball mod installation tutorial. It's a pretty cool mod. You'd probably like it if you were on a server. Check that out. 
Um, and if you click on that there question mark, the silver question mark, that'll take you to one of my random videos, which I linked. And then if you hit that subscribe button in the bottom, you'll be informed on all my new videos. And like the video if it did help. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Have a great day.